hi guys it is friday evening i have legitimately no plans so i thought why not take my extra time this evening by myself to um try to make harry's necklace from the golden music video this one was going around everywhere people were freaking out if you're a crazy person like me you had been freaking out for a while um we all saw the like paparazzi pictures and stuff of harry filming the golden music video and this picture that came out whenever he was leaving the airport in italy wearing all of these necklaces i was obsessed with the blue one i was like what is this we finally figured out they were from the brand Ilu, Elio, El Elu. I call it Elu. I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's a really popular brand um, on Instagram that has these types of necklaces. And they actually ended up coming out with the blue necklace and proceeding to name it after Harry. So naturally, I bought it like immediately after that um myself like i think every other harry on twitter and tiktok turned back into five-year-olds as we all ran to uh hobby lobby and bought pony beads so we could try to recreate his other necklaces <laughs> um i ended up making the other one he was wearing in that picture or like the closest kind of version i could of it um i was fairly impressed with it i'll do like a little side by side right here I mean, it's not perfect. Obviously the one in that picture is like $160 and this cost me like maybe $3 altogether with the supplies I got. So good enough for me. But of course, Harry always has to take it up a notch and hit us while we're down. Um, whenever the golden video came out, we saw him actually wearing this necklace, which I died over and two others we had not seen yet. All from Elu and one of them was just going around everywhere. It was this pearly one that said golden on it with these cute little freaking letters. He just, he's a baby. He's just a little angel, precious baby that we need to protect. I just, I cannot, I don't have words. Man, just never, he never fails to make us lose our mind over the simplest crap. But yes, I have gone to Hobby Lobby. I got some stuff on Amazon, all really cheap. And I think I'm going to be able to recreate a semi-decent version of that necklace. Not sure yet if this is about to be a tutorial or a what not to do example, but we're going to see. I was going to do this anyway, so I thought why not just like throw the camera on and we just have an extra video for this week. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so let's go over my supplies that I have gathered. First of all, looking at the necklace, I'll throw it up here so we can look at it. Um, I found these beads at Hobby Lobby. They were like $3, but the entire bead section of Hobby Lobby is always like 50% off. So I'm like, why, why do you play games? Like it's always 50% off. So everything is like half the price. So these were like $1.50. Um, they're not quite as big, but they are really similar. I feel like to the beads in that necklace. Um, in between these beads, there are pearls. So I have these pearls left over from <laughs> first go round that I tried to make a bunch of Harry related necklaces. I've got this big pack of the letter beads that look exactly like the ones on the necklace from Amazon. I think this entire package was 10 bucks and they came with little heart ones too. And also, I didn't even realize this, it came, Amazon stuff is so good sometimes. Like this came with a whole little spool of um, elastic. So you could probably, if you're just wanting to make this necklace, you don't even have to buy the string. I went ahead and bought a thing of string cause I know I'm gonna wanna make more anyways, but um, yeah. I also got, a lot of people have just been like tying the elastic, like just making a knot and then slipping it over the head. First of all, I have a very large head, so I don't think that's gonna work for me. And second of all, I just prefer a clasp over like trying to do that. I just don't want it to like wear out. So got these little um, like lobster claws and hook things to put on the other side. Very cheap, a couple bucks each for a whole pack of them from Hobby Lobby. And then lastly, just scissors. And then to seal the like knots in place, I'm gonna use um, clear nail polish. I saw this on a hack for something else on TikTok and I ended up doing that on my other necklaces and that's worked really well so far because all the other ones I did, the knots just came undone. But if you seal it in with that uh, nail polish, it, it literally can't come undone. So I'm gonna do that. This is gonna be all over the place, but let's get started. <laughs> 
Oh my god, guys, this video just does not want to be filmed. I'm sorry, the lighting's a little different. Um, my battery died, so then I had to wait for it to charge because I don't have a spare one, and then I got impatient, so I door dashed Chipotle, and then I ate that, and then I sat back down to start filming again, and then my SD card was full, and I had been talking for like three minutes, and it didn't record any of it. It, it makes no difference to you, but um, we're back. <laughs> It's many hours later, but we're back. Um, in the meantime, I cut my string. You can't see it because it's clear. Um, what I did was I wanted it to be the same length as this necklace, so I laid this down and I measured it and I cut it so it was just a little bit longer than this, so I had extra room to tie knots um, on the little like connector pieces. And then I tied my little connecting loop circle thing on the end. You're not gonna be able to see, but it's just the little connector. Um, few pieces of advice I would give from all my expertise of doing this for all of one week. I would recommend buying string that isn't actually elastic. Um, my first go round I bought like elastic string and it was so hard to work with like the knots would just unravel the second you knotted them and I had a couple of like bracelets I made for friends that ended up just like popping open. This is right next to it in the aisle in Hobby Lobby. It is the same concept, it's like plastic clear string, but it's just not stretchy. Like you pull it and it doesn't really have any stretch to it, where that one you can stretch it like really far. This already like saved me many headaches. I just tied like three little knots around the end of this connector. It doesn't seem like it's gonna unravel at all, but I'm still gonna put a tiny bit of nail polish on it just in case. But yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this. My other piece of advice is with these little, like if you decide to do the loops like I am, um, make sure you like look at it before you attach it on to the bracelet. Cause some of them come in the packs and they're not like fully closed. So you don't want to like go to attach it and then you like put your necklace on and it like pops open. So yeah. And then also make sure you look through your like little lobster claw things because same thing, like some of them are just like really sticky and have a hard time opening and others like they go in crooked. Like just make sure you look at it before you take the time and attach it and like bead the whole bracelet or necklace and then it just not work. But yeah, you guys know how to put beads on a string. So I'm going to come back once I have it beaded and then we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm back. I am like halfway through. This is what I've done so far. So, okay, it's like refusing to focus on. There we go. I've been alternating the little teardrop beads so that they go like in and out and in and out and then putting the little pearls in between. So I think it looks really good so far. I realized I didn't really have like a plan of action for how I was gonna make sure the golden was in the middle. Um, so then I ended up measuring it with the tape measure and then kind of figuring out like where the middle of the L should be and whatever. So it's like halfway through ish. Math is not my strong suit. I'm trying my best, but yeah, so I'm just going to string on these cute little letter beads and I'm going to put a pearl between each one. But so far I think it's going really well and I think it looks really similar to his and feeling good about this guys. You guys. This is so freaking cute. Okay, it's sideways, but you get the picture. Literally these little letters. The only thing I will say is like on the original um, necklace, the pearls in between I think are like a little bit smaller between these letters, but like you can still read it. It says golden. It's so cute. I'm, I already know like I'm gonna use these letters for everything. <laughs> I already wanna make one of these that says Nikki on it and then like, Oh my god, just one that says HS with like a heart and then I wish there were letters. I would totally do a five sauce one. There are just so many possibilities, but I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna tie it. I'm gonna try it on and I'll see you then. Okay guys, big reveal. You can't really see it from there, but oh my god, it came out so good. It is so freaking cute. The little letters, like, okay. This took me maybe a total without like all the disruptions and interactions, maybe like 30 minutes to do. I threw on some music. It was so easy. I mean, the final knot is always the worst. Like it's so hard to like do it with all the beads already on the strand and you're trying to like twist it and not like drop it and make the beads fly everywhere. But I got it on, it was fine. Um, if I would have done anything different, I would have maybe made it a little shorter. Um, I might honestly make another one my friend is coming over tomorrow so that we can make bracelets and watch um liam's halloween 
stream thing, whatever it's called, the LP show. Um, so I might make another one that's like even shorter than this so I have more of like a kind of chokery option. But like honestly, it looks so much like his, like gonna throw up the picture again. I mean, I'm sorry for like, I mean, it was a total of maybe $20 worth of supplies, but I'm gonna be able to use this stuff for a really long time. The actual necklace probably costs $2 whenever you do the math, so that compared to like 125, it's a good Friday night. I wonder if I can wear it with this one. Is that like a little bit much? Am I like going for it? Cause see, I, th I think it ended up, yeah, it ended up being a little bit longer than this one. Kind of cute. I mean, kind of a little much, Um, yeah. Hi guys. Future Nikki. So I've actually been wearing the necklace for like three or four days now. I'm obsessed with it. Came out super good. Um, and I was just thinking I have a lot of extra stuff left over, like all the beads and stuff. So I thought I might as well make a second one and send it to one of you guys. So I know I'm just so kind. I can't believe it either. But yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway for it. Uh, I'm just going to do it through Twitter because that's the easiest way to do it. If you're interested, um, I'll link it at the top of the description to the tweet with all the giveaway info, all of that. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I guess this was kind of a tutorial, my DIY channel now, but, um, yeah, you guys should totally make one. Tweet me a picture of it. Golden underscore styles. The L is capital I follow me every on everything else on socials and, um, Go watch my golden reaction if you haven't. Okay, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.